Join the green cap, they're set. And they're off and racing. And a nice break as well, over a mile and a half here for this listed British EBF Sir Henry Cecil Gultra's stakes. Keeping wide Voodoo Queen from her draw of 12. And, uh, but run up there though, she's almost alongside the early pace setter, Luna Dorada, who's showing good early toe there, the red cap to go along with Voodoo Queen alongside her as they settle down there through the first quarter mile. In third on the inside there is Time Lock, just ahead then of Golden Lyra. Under a straight Mimikyu, Frankie on the outside there of Supergirl, taking a bit of a hole, Mimikyu. Top anticipation is next to the rail. Just running around a bit behind them. Well, Pearl Beach has settled pretty nicely. Judith is restrained. Uh, behind her is Star Fortress, who's taking a little bit of a grip. And the green cap of Haskoy in the hands of Ryan Moore is about eight lengths behind the pace setting as, as setters as they go down towards the final seven furlongs of the contest. Luna Dorada then for Rob Hornby. Leading from Voodoo Queen, David Egan on the outside in second place. Time Lock and Will Buick racing close up behind them with uh, on the outside then Mimic Hugh and Frankie de Tori. Between them is Golden Lyra, Tom Marcon, the white-faced chestnut filly there. Tom in the yellow colours. Top anticipation next, Supergirl. And then just before, towards the inside is Pearl Beach, Danny Muscat, Judith alongside. And last, as they begin to turn down towards the home straight, the last two are Haskoy together there with Star Fortress. So they're coming up towards the final half mile of this contest here, this British EBF Sir Henry Cecil Gartra Stakes. These beautifully bred fillies with loads of potential between them coming down the home straight here at York and pressing on Luna Dorada on the inside. Voodoo Queen trying to go with her. Pushed along now is Time Lock going pretty nicely. Between them, Golden Lyra is under pressure. Up the inside, top anticipation. Down the outside, Mimic Q and Supergirl and Judith on the outside. Oh, there's a load of chances here in the Galtress. They're racing inside the final quarter mile. Time Lock maybe just in front. Supergirl chasing her down hard. On the near side, Judith is also staying on pretty strongly as well. Up inside the final furlong they come. Over on the far side, a late charge from Haskoy, but it's time lock the leader. Haskoy finishing off with a real aplomb on the inside. Up towards the line they go, and Haskoy's got there. What a ride from Ryan Moore. Time lock in second, Judith third, and Supergirl in fourth. Haskoy 13 to 2 beats time lock 6 to 1, and Judith third at 14 to 1, 11 wrap. This is a good performance uh, from Haskoy and a really good ride from Ryan Moore. Haskoy was uh, slowly away uh, and then when she was pulled to the outside in the home straight, she, she looked a little bit clueless. She certainly looked very green indeed. Ryan let her wander down to the rail and once she um, sorted herself out and found some equilibrium, she ran on really strongly uh, for Ryan to get up in the, the dying strides. Just got there in the last 100 yards and uh, given how green she was, there's more to come. Ryan Moore has just given an experienced, inexperienced, but very talented filly an excellent ride to win the Gulter Stake. Haskoy is the name of that horse. Congratulations. Talk me through what you had to do with her, because she was clearly very green, very raw, only her second start. Yeah, she, she didn't start great. And we were wide, and we were going to go on with it a bit early, but then the pace steadied. I didn't want to be on the outside on her. And then she just, when we turned to the straight and started sprinting, she got completely lost, and she just wanted to lug to her left just inexperienced, you know, I let her go down to the fence. And as soon as I'd done that, she she got herself organised, got, got a bit of, knew what she had to do, and she, the last furlong, she, she picked up very well, and um, it was, uh, I thought it was very impressive. Yeah. When did you feel you were going to get there? Oh, only only the last 100 yards, but, like, she, she ran hard through the line. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she, she, she got into a good rhythm the last furlong and a half, and... Philly. She can go up in grade now, can't she? I mean, that is, that's such a good performance. Yeah, look, Rafe said to me the first time she'd been in grass was walking across the track, so um, you'd think there's more to come. Okay, many congratulations. Well done. Thank you.